Good morning, Belgrade. Today it has been seven days, seven full days without any curfew, uh, which is amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I still feel sort of like, uh, uh, oh, I gotta make it home by. No, wait, I don't. Um, it still sits somewhere in the back of my head to do all these things during the day or oh my god it's, it's, it's already two o'clock now I have to go to buy groceries before the wait I don't so uh, COVID stats since uh, since I haven't done that in a while Serbia has now 10,374 confirmed cases with a death toll of a mortality ratio of 2.15% and deaths 224. It's pretty good. All the people that have been tested are almost 163,000 people. Oh my god, like how, how much is that out of the population? I could, I could do some calculations, but I just don't have those numbers in front of me at the moment. People tested in the last 24 hours is 6,194. <clears throat> this is crazy. Like Serbia is really testing, testing, testing a lot of people, of which uh, 79 people have been confirmed within the last 24 hours. And two deaths in the tw last 24 hours. Uh, 4,084 people have recovered, which is, is good. I mean, this, these numbers show everything's going down. Um, of course, there, there's certainly a second wave coming around, which we'll just have to wait and see on. Um, but, you know, we can't stop living because we're afraid of death. Because that just doesn't really make sense. Today there is overcast uh, and um, it was raining yesterday quite a lot during the uh, um, before lunch and it was humid humid as fudge afterwards like my jeans got sort of glued to my my legs and I could barely get them off you know you know when you you, you pull them off you, you get undressed and it sounds like like tape being removed from plastic um, it's less humid now. The air is cer certainly different, uh, and I like that because my nose is uh, well, not suffering, but it is feeling the drought in the air. So now it's different. Finland's corona stats are confirmed cases 6,145 cases, 4,300 recovered, and deaths 287. Hi. Uh, and these are the only stats I can find on this particular page. World of meters. Let's see what they have to say about that. Yeah, that's about the same thing. Here we go. So, coronavirus cases in Sweden 28,582. Deaths 3,592. 3,529 and recovered 4,971 so now the uh, number of recovered has surpassed the number of deaths which is a good thing so this is how if you can see that Anyways, who cares? It, it snows up there and rains. It snows slush to anybody who thought it, we would have like a second Christmas up there. When it snows at this time, it never snows in, in May, no, very rarely. But <clears throat> when it snows in April, March, April, May, it's slush, not fluffy uh, Santa Claus snow. So no, we're not done with COVID yet, but we're a long way from where we were in March. And where we are now, it's getting warmer, it's really getting warmer. And places are finally opening up. 
We went to a bank yesterday that um, had opening hours for elderly between 5 and 7, which was really nice. So they had dedicated hours for elderly. Otherwise, just walking around in Dorcho, you find a lot of cafeterias and each cafeteria of terrace will have people, Serbs mostly, sitting, um, enjoying the day. So it's nice to see life finally coming to life.